12. You know, in Portland's Laurelhurst neighborhood, if you're driving through it, there is a strange and beautiful sight, a bigger-than-life gold statue of Joan of Arc. But a lot of people would want to know, what does Joan of Arc have to do with Portland? Well, how that statue got there is a big part of where we live. In the middle of this traffic circle on Northeast Cesar Chavez and Gleason, a gold St. Joan of Arc, the teenage warrior who led the French army to a defeat of the British in the Hundred Years' War of the early 1400s. Well, I, I think it's a good idea, but I have no idea why it's here. An exact replica of the Joan of Arc statue in Paris, it was given to Portland in 1924 by prominent physician Henry Waldo Coe. Coe was a world traveler who settled in Portland. He'd been to Paris, thought the original statue was cool, and decided to put one here as a tribute to American soldiers who lost their lives on French soil in World War I. But Coe didn't stop with Joan of Arc. He did see some statues in Europe, and I was impressed by the quality of them, by the look of them. Henry Coe commissioned world-class sculptors to create three other statues in Portland. The George Washington statue on Sandy Boulevard in the Rose City neighborhood. Abraham Lincoln in Southwest Portland's park blocks and the Teddy Roosevelt Rough Rider statue across from the Portland Art Museum. Well, Roosevelt was a personal friend of his. The traffic circle where Joan of Arc sits is now named Coe Circle. Henry Waldo Coe's golden maid of Orleans riding to victory for all time. Well, these works of art are pretty expensive, and they were even in the early 1900s. Dr. Coe paid $40,000 for the Teddy Roosevelt statue. Wow. If you translated that to today's dollars, that would be about half a million dollars today. Yeah. So that uh, story was basically for you, Jenny. I knew that you were going to Paris, Paris. and came back. So anytime <laughs> that you miss Paris, just go to Coe Circle Drag and stand in front of Joan yeah. of Arc and mm -hmm. just... Pretend you're still in Paris. Yeah, we did go to uh, Versailles, <laughs> and there were a lot of statues like that. The gold. I mean, they're very into gold there. Yeah. Everything's yeah. very ornate and, and beautiful. But yeah, that looks. That does look very Parisian right there. <laughs> nice job. That's you very interesting. You